Perry McMahon with UKFightSite.com. I'm here just catching up with Jay and Nightmare Shepherd. Jay, how you been, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Oh, man, I'm going crazy. I'm uh, back to work officially next week, though. So finally get back to a little bit of normality. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, one thing I was, I was thinking to myself, when I went, like, thinking about fighters going through this, the one person that pops in my head was you. <laughs> because every time I speak to you, like, it's like oh, I'm going to London Fight Factory in the morning. Are you, oh, I'm going to be down pound for pound later. Or I'm going to be working at Team Underground. And then other times it's like, oh, I'm flying out for a week. I'm going to be in Sweden. I'm going to be in All Stars. <laughs> how, how, how has it affected you being locked down like this? Because you're always on the move. It's affected me badly. <laughs> like I, I feel sorry for my next opponent. Not like he's gonna, he's gonna get. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, whoever it is, it doesn't even. Matter. I don't care. Even if we're all right, like they're gonna get the full whack. Like I am itching. You know that. Like, I've like I've had to the road. My road rage has just gone from that, like, from from like forty percent to a hundred percent. Uh, yeah, like, I've even, like, I did, I did, you know, I was trying to find, like, fights, like, <laughs> <It's that laughs> you know, <laughs> put a purse up, you know, park settings, two guys, two referees, and just go, but no one wants it, man. When when I spoke to you last week briefly, like, you, you said you was with some of the, the Team Underground guys. Have you managed to keep in, like, get some working in the parks, like, one-to-one -one training, or... Um, me and Rico, obviously, we always training. Um, um, I start me and Stefano. It's me and Stefano been. Um, we we trained yesterday. Um, I've, I've trained with Will Druitt. Um, done some pads with Steve. Um, met Jeremy and done some things. Um, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's. I'm just ready to go, man. Like, I, 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 I miss, I miss everything. I miss it all. And I'm like, especially grappling, you know, like, I, I just like, even just doing drills, you know, with multiple bodies in the gym, like, you, you, like we take it for granted now, but look, it's been taken away from us. So, yeah. so you've got to enjoy it and love what you're doing, even if it's the boring things now, man. Like you started off the year really well, collected your, your third professional title in a row at Con Contenders 29. Um, <laughs> <laughs> looking, looking back on it, like how do you rank that performance? It was one of the best performances I've, I've seen you, you put in in the cage. Yeah, do you know what? It was just great. I was happy it went all the way as well. Like, um, I could have finished that whenever, to be fair. I hurt him at, I hurt him at the... Um, the end of the first round, um, when I, I body locked him and just I like, kind of just kind of just threw him on the floor, and he went to grab me and I caught him with like a right at the side of his head and then like a left shot as well, and he kind of um he kind of dropped down to his face and I sprawled because I thought he was going for the takedown, and then I kind of went to like switch over to get the dance and then he put his arm over and then the bell went, so I was like cool, he's tired, <laughs> I know he's tired because. People don't. One thing people don't realize is, yeah, I'm, I've, I've got a very good gas tank, and I'm a lot stronger than you think I am. So with that performance, I was really happy. Um, I just stuck to my game plan, you know, just literally shut anything he had to do down. Like, like, you know, I, I turn, I turn his game plan into my game plan. Yeah. And wore him down, and you know, like he had no, and like. As um, he's a skilled fighter, and like, he he is, and um, I it was only me that made him look worse than he actually is, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, it was a that was a fight. I didn't actually realize how um how high, like how how much people wanted to watch the fight. Like, you know, it was a proper, it was a it was a really good matchup, and yeah, man, the performance was great. You know, I I could have done more, but I didn't want to do more. I didn't have to do more. It was just about um. So in the public, I could go to three rounds as well, and I'm patient and I'm I'm picking my shots, you know, instead of instead of going and blasting people out. Yeah, who put that game plan together? Because I remember when I spoke to you after the fight, uh, I spoke to you before the fight, um, yeah. and 
I remember there was a lot that we was talking about. I think it might have been on camera, it might have been off camera. I know we was talking about like the leg kicks and everything. That like when I finally watched it back, you kind of you put all that out there, and, like it all actually happened. Was that Jer was that a Jeremy game plan, or was that just something you saw from? Oh, um, do you know what? Yeah, it's um, it's crazy. Yeah, you know you might not believe this, but um. Every coach that I worked with for that camp was on the same page without speaking to each other. So even myself, like, you know, Andreas Michael from um, All Stars um, Training Centre, you know, he was like, yeah, put the pressure, catch him with the leg kicks and stuff. Mm. And um, Jeremy was, yeah, basically be in front of him, be in his face, be in his face, don't let him rest up, um, get the footwork going, cut the cage off and pick your shots kind of thing. And, um, Danny was like, all right, like, you know, if we would catch him a couple of times and whatever, I'll just do what we're doing. But um, if he does eventually get me towards that cage, um, stay firm, don't use too much energy, keep keep a bit busy and just allow him to work, allow him to, to use his energy and, and, and do his thing. And all of that came into play. And um, I was hurting him, I was hurting him where he wanted me. No wait, from the beginning I was I, I, I was I was hurting him with my with my hands and my leg kicks and um when he finally did get my back against the cage, I was hurting him I was hurting him there and then turning him around and hurting him there. And yeah, it was just that yeah, it was everything came together well and it was literally it was a solid game plan and we didn't do we we didn't want to jump back into um old 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 car old characteristics, you know, of me getting too excited and I think, no, nah, we don't need to do that, yeah. you know. Um, and, yeah, just, just just pick the punches and then and just go with it. <laughs> how, how frustrating is it for you as a fighter, like, coming off of a performance like that, another title win, like, considering that you're always improving and, like, the, the strides you're making, to now be, you know, to have that for, for, um, for the time being taken away from you from, like, training and competing, that... Like, like, how do you manage to stay motivated? Um, to be fair, yeah. Um, obviously, it's been like fucking. It's been kind of depressing and stuff, isn't it? That we're not able to do anything. But I just let it happen, and um, it was. I, I was training. I was training not too hard. Just training, ticking over and stuff. And um, I'm just kind of taking time to um, just allow my my brain and my my body to 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 relax and enjoy life a bit as well. Because I, everyone knows I like, I like having fun and stuff, but I've also got, I've also always got my mind on um, fight, 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 and um, for me that's okay. But um, it could, like, it could work against me as well. So it is good to have um, some time off um, and just, yeah, just, just relax and, and and not worry about too much and stuff. I wait and, and and all of that, and I'm ready now. I'm 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 ready to get back in. I'm, I've been ready mm -hmm. mentally, but I will. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to to start my camps and stuff. I feel like I already know the answer, but like cause I, I've seen <laughs> up and down with some fighters that they would they would they wanted to compete during quarantine, like if they could get the fight. And yeah. there were some people that was kind of worried about the health and safety of it all. Uh, the UFC and Cage Warriors both had shows. Uh, behind closed doors, like, during during the lockdown. Yeah. Um, would have you... Would you would have you considered competing at that time? Like, I know you're hungry now, but, like, you know, during the height of it, would have you gone for it? Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> you knew the answer to that. I knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like... That's that's what I am, you know. I didn't I didn't I didn't learn how to fight. I've always known how to fight. I've always been fighting. So you know that's that's fighting's a, a very big part of me. Whether it was in prison or or on the street or in the nightclubs or you know sparring or in the cage or when I did compete in boxing then, mm. you know. And um, yeah, it's just I'm ready. I'm always ready to fight. It, My it, brain this never fails me. My brain never fails me. You know. I won't quit, you know, like, that's just, that's, that's, I've got, I've, I've got, I've got that dog in me, I know I'm, like, the dog fights are in me, that's never going to break, so I can always have that as a backup, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's looking like uh, Probellum's uh, gearing up for a show, like, if you look at the social media posts, it's, it's very cryptic, yeah. but it looks like there's going to be an announcement coming soon. 
Uh, would that be something that would interest you, like getting back in there now with them? Yeah, bring it. I've I've added KSW because I know they got one in Poland. Brave, like Brave, Brave's got um stuff going on. Um, there will be fights in Sweden too. Oh. So um, yeah, um, Cage Warriors like they all know Bellator when they feel like doing it. They all know I'm here. I don't like like I'm. I'm 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 ready I'm ready I'm ready for, for, for whatever's put in front of me and that person is gonna get that arse of thing. Uh, you mentioned uh, Stefano earlier and like last night Stefano yeah. uh, he called out Jack Collins uh, <laughs> for a fight on, yeah. on Pro Bella. But I know I know Jack's team underground and Stefano you, you work with yeah. him as uh, alpha talent. Um oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it's, it's just one of them it's just one of them things again isn't it like yeah. if two guys are going to fight I know them they're friends teammates I train with both I, I do train with both guys it is what it is I'm not giving anything up to anyone you know you know, there's enough footage of both of them hmm. for them to do what they need to do and like obviously not in my eyes like because fighting's not a sport to me a fight's a fight but it is a sport at the end of the day, and these guys are martial artists, and they want to test themselves. So why not? It's a good matchup. In that spirit, is there anyone out there that like you would like like to test yourself with at the moment? Like you know, you've had time to sit down and think about the next fights coming. <laughs> um, top twenty in the UK. Top twenty, yeah. Top twenty. I'm forty right now. Um. Any, I don't even, I don't forget the UK. I like I, the domestic fights there. It's all good and that, but no one like I, I want to go. I want to go to enemy territory mm. and put one of them to sleep. You know, I want to. I want international fights. The crowds for me, I don't care. Boo me, cheer me. It, it doesn't matter. It, it, it really, it really doesn't matter. You know, people. Oh, do you know what? It's gonna be in London. Home and away fights. Oh, do you know what? Oh, who gives a fuck? Do you know what I mean? You're in there. And 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 um, if you know you can't let it get to the judges, then you push for your finish. So you know I'm ready for whoever and, and, and whatever, but they have to be ranked above me. Yeah, uh, I meant I meant to ask you. Just you just made me think. Um, when you was in um, back in the cage in contenders, uh, Festus was also on the on the card. Like he put on a, a great yeah. performance. How did that feel to see him back in action and what both of you on the same card? Yeah, man. You know, I don't think have we fought. When the last time we fought on the same card, it wasn't Killer Cam, was it? Was it MTK? I think it was. Oh yeah, yeah. It was MTK. It was MTK. I mean, you know, Festus is like like a younger brother, isn't it, to me? And um, yeah, I just like he's 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 such a talent, you know. And um, I just wouldn't want that to go to waste. He's dangerous. He he's dangerous. He's calm, cool, collective, and he's comfortable while he's in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was so so I was so happy to see him fighting, yeah. you know, and get the finish as well. And uh, did you manage to catch the premiere of uh, Cage uh, Cage Fire World Worlds Collide? Yeah, I caught it. <laughs> it was on. I caught um, it. So it was like four years. TV. Yeah. What What did you think? Fucking great, man! I'm, pr I'm proper proud of Alex as well, you know. Like he's, you know, he works. He works hard, man. I've been with him, you know. I helped him out with it, um, a little bit and that while while he's in the country and stuff. And yeah, you know, he got what he, he, he getting what he deserves now. You know, some recognition. You know, being a fighter and that is not a, not an easy thing. And I know how much like he goes, he does auditions and things like that and casting and that. You know, and he puts the hours in. So yeah, man, and you know, big names on there as well. So it's not like it's just some film that was. Like I don't know some random unknown fighters and stuff. Like you got Luke Rockhold, Chuck Liddell, you got uh, John Moxley in there, Gina Gershon. Um, who else is in that film again? I don't know, but it was it was it was it was it was it was a really good film, you know. Mm -hmm. I knew about obviously some things that that that, that were happening in the film, so I wanted to see it myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to say too. Much. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it, but like I really enjoyed it. I um I, I bought my ticket from uh, Fight. There's a lot of surprises in there too because you know you kind of you always feel like 
those combat sport films, like the Rocky style, they're always going to go one way. Like you can kind of see it coming. Yeah. And then you kind of don't with Cage Fire, which I thought was really. No, cool. no, no. Yeah. So, um, it was good. It was good. It was good. Uh, what's the goals for you, like, when you return? Like, are you looking to um, make any title defences or are you looking to keep on adding titles to your collection? Because I, I think um, when we spoke, you were looking at four titles, right? Is that... Yeah, I was looking at four titles. I was, um, I, but I don't know where the fourth one's coming from. It's, yeah. it's, it, like, I don't, I don't know where the fourth one's coming from. Probellum don't have a title. No. Um... Obviously, Cage Warriors do, mm. but I'm on. I'm six and two now, so I, I need. I need at least probably. I need probably about. Uh, Jay, two, the three wins on Cage Warriors, you know. Yeah. I think I've lost audio, mate. Yeah, it's just just lost audio. Are you back? Sorry about that. What was I just saying? Um, a, a title, fourth title, and it was. Ah, uh... Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Cage Warriors is always there. Um, like, but that's the that's you know um, there's no easy route up to that. Do you know what I mean? Which I'm okay with. But yeah, two two three good proper wins against good proper opponents will get me that. So, um. Oh, where else? I don't know. Maybe international title. I was about to say, I think it's going to have to be international, right? Yeah. I want international fights, you know. I don't... Like, I want to fight in Asia as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. One. Yeah, One championship. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Maybe they need a crazy half-black guy over there <laughs> doing what Rampage was doing back in the day, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> have you ever... You know. Have you ever considered, like, the... The, obviously not now because I mean you're you're in the middle of like your 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 MMA career, but like I see the the bare knuckle and the left way um, the kickboxing that's really picking up. Like, would you ever consider getting involved in that? Do you know what? Yeah, I got messaged a few days ago from 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 someone from a BKB, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's mad. Asking, asking, asking um, yeah, asking like like, do I want to join the roster? Well, I can. I was planning to do that, all of that stuff, after I finish of MMA. Yeah, I thought so. Do you know what I mean? So um, it's not like I haven't done it before. Obviously, it hasn't been um, legal and stuff, where you're just having you having them fights in the haystacks or whatever, or in the <laughs> cell or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And but yeah, uh, like getting the cuts and that. You know, and then going into M going going like doing bare knuckle or left way and then going straight into like, you know, you're gonna get cuts. Unless you're cleaning guys out and not getting hit, you're gonna get cuts. And do I really need that um while I'm still competing in MMA? Not really. Yeah. Cool. All right, mate. Afterwards I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time today, Jay, man. I really appreciate it. It's good to catch up with you. No problem, man. Always and, uh, a pleasure, man. Once this is uh, sorted out, look forward to seeing you back in there. Yeah, yeah, me too. I can't wait. I would look forward to seeing you there, mate. Take care, mate. <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks, <laughs> Take it easy, bro. In a bit, man. <laughs>